Welcome friends to Boiler Room Detective Channel. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. This case explains the difference between a condensate and a boiler feed tank. The steam cycle, a fundamental process in steam systems, begins with water being heated inside the boiler. As the water reaches a certain temperature, it transforms into steam, carrying both sensible and latent heat. Sensible heat, measurable with a thermometer, and latent heat, the heat required for a change of state, are crucial components of this process. The steam, moving at impressive speeds close to 50 miles per hour, seeks cooler areas to release its latent heat. Once it does, the steam reverts back to water or condensate, marking the completion of the cycle. In a residential steam system, the condensate is returned to the boiler by gravity and leftover steam pressure. Commercial systems require a mechanical method of returning condensate to the boiler because the building is much larger than a home. That job falls to either a condensate or boiler feed tank. While the condensate and boiler feed tank both store condensate, vent air, and distribute the condensate, that's where the similarity ends. The condensate tank is typically much smaller than a boiler feed tank. Inside the tank is an internal float that controls the pump operation. As the water level rises in the tank, the float switch starts the pump and pumps the condensate. When the water level in the tank drops, the pump is switched off. Many older boiler plants use the condensate tank to return condensate to the boilers. The old boilers had large steam chests and the water level is not critical. The new boilers have smaller steam chests and the water level is absolutely critical, so condensate tank will not work with the newer boilers. The boiler feed tank is about five times larger than a condensate tank. Inside the tank is a float valve that feeds makeup water to the system. The float valve is set to maintain the water level at about one-third the tank height. The cold makeup water is then chemically treated and warmed by the returning condensate, so cold water is not injected into the hot boiler. The starting and stopping of the pump is controlled by a level control monitored on the boiler. If the plant has two or more boilers, feed water valves or separate pumps are used for each boiler. Both tanks should maintain an air cushion above the water at all times. This allows air to be vented when the steam is on and air to replace the steam when the boiler is off. When replacing commercial boilers, you will need a boiler feed system. This could be an expensive omission if you didn't factor it in. Condensate tanks are used on steam systems to return condensate from the far ends of the building to the boiler feed tank. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. I have authored 12 boiler books which are available on Amazon. My technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.